What is going on, YouTube? Welcome to Edged Mindset. I am your host, Carter. Uh, ooh, okay. We've got an unboxing here. Um, this may not go as planned. I am uh, not the happiest camper right now, so I bought this knife. Uh, this is supposed to be... I'll tell you what this is supposed to be. This is supposed to be an OG QD Scarab from 2014. All boxes and all the stuff, mint condition. Uh, first of all, it came like this. Um, uh, you know, this is a kind of a collector's item. So to package this up in just a rinky-dink envelope, barely even taped. But more importantly, right, that's frustrating. More importantly, though, is... Try not to show the label because I didn't block anything up. This does not, uh, I don't know. This doesn't seem big enough to be a Microtech box. Let's see, let's open it. Okay, I do see the word Microtech on the box, so that's good. Let's see what we got here, I don't know. So, okay, okay, I guess it is a Microtech. Okay, QD Scarab, SE, Stonewash Standard. Here she is. Uh, not too bad a condition. Man, box your stuff up better, people, though, please. The other thing, uh, after I purchased this and after I worked out the deal and got the pictures and stuff, I realized that these are supposed to come with the sheath. I did not ask if it came with the sheath because I didn't know if it came with the sheath, and none of the pictures showed a sheath, so I'm thinking it does not come with the sheath. But if it does come with the sheath, no sheath. That's a bummer. I was really hoping it would come with the sheath. Um, it does have the paperwork, so that's good. It has the user manual. Uh, blah, blah, blah. The other thing I want to make sure of is that this is, okay, copyright 2014. Wanted to make sure that this was, like, original, you know. I'm pretty sure this was supposed to come with a sheath, unless they, like, didn't this year or something. I don't know. If anybody knows about 2014 Scarabs, did this still come with that sheath? I... I don't know, because it has the original baggie here, but most important thing, let's take a look at this knife. Here it is. Let's inspect this. This is supposed to be like new in box, and it looks fantastic. Ooh, there it is, right there, scarab. Let's wipe this blade off. Hopefully that's just a little bit of schmutz. Yep, yeah, right there. Here it is. 2014 Scarab. So many memories. Uh, this is like back when I was into Microtex and first collecting and things like that um, is when this came out. I actually, um, and I think I've said this before, I made a video, an unboxing of the Scarab 2, and I mistakenly said that that was the first time that I've held a Scarab, and I went back to my old videos, and it was not the first time I've held a Scarab. Um, I had a Scarab executive, I guess, back in Back in the day, let's zoom in a little bit here. There we go. Let's compare it real quick to the Scarab 2. So this is the biggest thing with these, is the size. Well, wow, let's line this up. Scarab 2, oh, I'm not even on frame. Jeez. The Scarab 2 is much larger than the original Scarab. And I've heard a lot of people, and they talk about the Scarab, they're like, oh, it's just too big, it's just too big. And I'm like, well, you're talking about the new Scarab. Uh, this is... The original Scarab, which was not super big, you can see from the button here, has kind of the normal skinny button, uh, still has the groove at the top, it doesn't go as long. It's kind of cool to compare these two. Uh, it doesn't have the venting here, it just has the single fuller, you can see how it terminates right there. This is number 11848, wow, 11,848, 2014, August 2014, QD Scarab. LMAX steel that they used a lot back then. This thing fires really hard. It definitely has, um, I've heard a lot of people complain about how difficult the spring action is on these uh, old school scarabs. And yes, first impression is it is stouter than the new ones, but not as bad as I was expecting based off what people said. Um, especially, you know, pulling it back's hard but shooting it out actually isn't that bad. I'm surprised it doesn't have a twang or anything in here. That's awesome. I would never be able to, nor would I want to, uh, get inside of these screws here. This is an older proprietary screw system than what they currently use. Uh, now it's obviously a lot different. 
You can see the pocket clip only has the scarab on it. It does not have uh, SN or anything like that. Has a different pocket or a different uh, glass breaker on the back. Well, actually quite similar. I guess they kept that style. So they kept the style. It's just skinnier, a little bit longer. Um, very cool. You can see how the pocket clip's a little thinner. It doesn't have the Microtech logo, all the billboarding that's on the new ones. A lot cleaner. I, I really like, like that look. The blade, though, has just as much billboarding. All the usual information. They put the SN on the blade as opposed to the pocket clip that they typically will do now. Different actuator, already mentioned. Has the vents in the back. Um, overall, very similar grip pattern. Different material. This is more of a grip tape, and this is a little more rubberized. Uh, this is actually a little less grippy, despite it looking just as grippy. This is literally like skateboard grip tape compared to, compared to this guy here. Very cool, very, very cool. Interesting, interesting kind of piece of history. It's not super vintage, but, um, you know, it's not... Vero Beach days, kind of old scarab, but still very cool. You can see how the, maybe you can see how the stone washing has changed just a little bit. It's a little, the old one was a little less time in the stone washer. You can see it's almost a satin and then it's just stone washed for a little bit. Whereas the new one is a little more full on stone washed. You can still see the grind lines kind of peeking through on the QD. Whereas on the new one, I don't see any grind lines. Looks pretty flat and then kind of more thoroughly stone washed. Flats are both satin, has the swedge on top. All the other stuff is pretty, pretty standard, pretty cool. Pretty cool to own something like this. Um, I wish it had the sheath. I believe it should have came with that. Uh, those are oftentimes hard to find, but it has the box. So something like this is uh, just a complete collectible for me. Um, the Scarab is my favorite Microtech design, and so it's cool to kind of get get something like this that's, uh, you know, kind of a, a piece of, uh, kind of piece of history. Pretty cool uh, to have in the collection to go along with all my other Scarabs. Uh, should hold its value fairly well as well. So I don't think I'm going to, you know, if I do need to move this, I don't think I'm going to lose any money or anything. Uh, should be good to go. Man, seeing this old hardware really brings back memories. Because like when I first was getting into kind of higher end knives, that was the hardware that was on the Microtex. Um, so it's kind of cool to cool to see that again. 2014, I was like really into uh, into stuff at that point in time. So uh, blast from the past. All right, guys, I am out. Here's a quick look at the QD Scarab. Uh, did not go as poorly. I was a little bit afraid. Uh, the packing job is a little frustrating, but it made it safe and sound all the way from Florida. So I'm a happy camper. You guys take it easy. I'm out of here. Catch you on the next one.